Hey, 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 happy day 668 of What You Up To Now. She, S-H-E, being me, Sharon Hornellstrom. And I, I hate this segment. I, I'm kind of struggling with it now because I feel like it's all about me, me, me. Which is the exact opposite of what I want it to be and what I want to be doing with anything that I do online. But it is the segment that I do every day for 668 days in a row now to talk about what am I doing as I transition and move to different, a different stage in my life, I guess. I've gone from brick and mortar, corporate America, real businesses to online businesses. And I've done that in the because I want to create more freedom for myself. I go by Pajama Grandma because I want to do what I want, when I want, where I want, with whomever I want, wherever I want, wearing what I want. And a lot of times that involves just hanging out and being in my pajamas, doing my thing in my pajamas. And not having to go to work, not having to go to the shop, I used to call it. Not going to interact with people on a, you know, one-on-one -on -one hand holding basis, but maybe I still do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work. One-on-one -on -one work over Facebook Live, one-on-one -on -work, one work over Zoom, one-on-one -on -one work over the phone, one-on-one -on -one work over Voxer. But I don't have to show up all cleaned up and made up. Obviously, that's not a rule I stick with. <laughs> Hanging out with my four-year-old granddaughter today, who was sick, poor little angel. So, talking about in Supersize Your Business, down to the wire, things that don't go as planned or that we wait till the very last minute or we get taken care of at the very last minute. Uh, for BP Challenge, we talked all about beverages and what we consume for beverages. And do we ever really consciously think about that? I know for a long, long time, I never even thought about what I drank for and what I consumed. I didn't ever drink any water. I drank a couple liters of Diet Pop a day, a couple pots of coffee a day, didn't eat, didn't take care of myself. And that, that behavior was not getting me the results that I wanted. And it actually contributed to me having some major health challenges in my life, um, up to and including a sudden cardiac arrest. So today the BP Challenge was about just think about and take a little inventory of what are you drinking? What are you consuming for beverages? And, you know, coffee, tea, soda pop's a huge one for people. A lot more people are addicted to soda pop, and I was one of them, than are addicted to alcohol or drugs or anything else. So do you have a habit that you're not even aware of? Or, or do you have a behavior that's impacting you negatively that you may or may not be aware of? So we talked about that. Also, um, hung out with the four-year-old granddaughter all day today because she didn't go to school because she was sick. So all my other projects, I got nothing done on them. <laughs> and there's days like that. We just have to understand that there's days like that based on the priorities that we want to set. At this point in my life, my four-year-old granddaughter for this year is a priority. She is a much higher priority, sorry people, than any business thing that I'm doing. Anything I'm doing with respect to business can wait either before she comes or after she goes home to get done. There's nothing I'm doing, and that's one of the coolest things about being online versus offline, is I can schedule my interviews when I want to. I can schedule my, my content creation when I want to. I can schedule it around this amazing little human being who I only have this finite amount of time that I can spend with. Because next year she's gonna be in school all day and I won't have the opportunity to spend any time with her. And I am not gonna miss out on that opportunity. I um, left corporate America originally and planned that I was gonna have all this freedom and I was gonna do all these things and I was gonna be there for my kids. And it turned out to be just the opposite. I was working all the time, I was stressed out all the time, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off and then some and I wasn't able to attend things and do things with my kids. In corporate America, I was traveling so much. In one year, I missed everybody's birthday, my wedding anniversary, and you know most events because I was traveling all the time. I wasn't there for my kids. When I got my own businesses, or, and I left corporate America thinking, oh, this is gonna be awesome, the same exact thing happened, only worse. I ended up missing things that I thought that I would be able to be available for because the challenges and the stresses of other people's deadlines and other people's timelines still pressed in on me even having my own business because I set it up that way. I didn't know at the time that I could set it up any way I wanted. Now I do, but it took me you know, a few decades to figure that out. So may you figure that out sooner than I did. 
that's it. That's all I've got today. I had a longer version going, but I got a phone call in the middle of it and lost the video. So this is take two because guess what? We don't always get things done the first time. So you get a much shortened version of what you up to now. If I can help you in any way, shape, or form, create any processes or systems, they are my jam as well as challenges. I am, I'm going to call myself the challenge queen because I have lived through more crap than most people could even imagine. And uh, I'm here to tell the tale. If you want to hear any of those stories, hit me up. Uh, and I'm doing challenges all the time. I've got a 365 day challenge going on for the, this is the second year in a row. I did do one thing a day that scares you last year. This year I'm doing one thing a day that makes you happy. I've already got next year's plans. So it'll be my third year in a row of a, a year long challenge. And I also participated in Mary Nasana's uh, 365 day challenge last year where we went live in the Facebook group and his Facebook group every day for a year a group of us did that which was a really incredible learning experience it was it was definitely a challenge to um, go live every day in that group and it was it was fun educational but I kind of was cheating because I'd already done it for you know half a year by the time we started so it was easy I hopped in actually I think like the weekend before the challenge started I heard about it and I just jumped in and did it and were there times I had a hard time doing it? Yep, of course. I was in Facebook jail during that year, and I don't know what all else happened. Lost my internet, my computer went down, things like that happened, but I still found a way to get that done every single day. And if I can do it, you can certainly do it. So if you have any questions about video, I can probably help with that too, as long as they're like homespun, homemade, got it, don't, don't expect it to be super professional or amazing for when it comes to videos or podcasts. I still, after two years, do not have my intro and outro music on my podcast. It just hasn't been a priority. Now, have I spent days and days looking at it and trying to pick out music? Yes. Should I be doing that? No, because I can't pick it out myself. It's like getting a decent photograph of myself. I, I can't pick that out. I'll have to have my daughter, who's a professional photographer, take my picture when I get around to that, too. And... Then I'll have to have her pick the picture because I will not, I'm not, we're not, most of us are not good enough at judging ourselves that we can just do something like that. So I'll either let a group or somebody else pick my pictures for me, just like my intro and my outro music. Somebody else is going to have to do that for me because it's too hard for me to pick it. I, I can waste days listening to different clips and I won't pick anything because I'll find 10 I like and then, then I'll throw them all out because none of them, I really don't like the, the feeling that I get from any of them. So. That's it. If I can help you anyway, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow.